the irresponsible trolley company is back again, and now they've sunk to a new low. This time, there are two trolleys on the loose, and to make matters worse, there are people tied to the tracks. Fortunately, there is something we can do about it. This guy up here controls the switch station on the left, and he can send that left trolley either south or east. Meanwhile, this guy down here controls the switch station on the right, and he can send that right trolley either to the west or to the north. Unfortunately, those switch operators cannot communicate with each other, and they cannot observe what the other one is doing when they have to make their decision. Both agree that they just want to minimize harm to humans, so they don't care about the lost capital that would occur if those trolleys would smash into each other. And I have further good news on that front. Both of the trolleys are empty, so if they do crash into one another, there will not be any additional casualties. Here's your puzzle. What should each of the operators do? While you think about that, check out some of these cool books that I've written. Your hint for today is to apply Nash equilibrium to that situation, which is a topic I cover in Chapter 1 of Game Theory 101, the complete textbook. Are you ready for the solution? It turns out there isn't a single straightforward answer. What each of the switch operators wants to do depends on what they think that the other will do. And that leads to a complication. Imagine that the top switch operator sent his trolley east. If the bottom switch operator could anticipate that, then he would recognize that those six on the middle tracks are going to be hit regardless of what he chooses. As a consequence, if he sends his trolley to the north, there will be three more hit, whereas if he sends his trolley to the west, no additional people will be hit. Thus, he should choose west. But notice that that reinforces the original switch operator's decision. If the bottom switch operator is going to send his trolley to the west, then sending the original switch operator's trolley to the east means that there will not be any additional casualties. But that reinforces the bottom switch operator's decision, which reinforces the top switch operator's decision, and so forth. Put differently, the decision to send the trolleys east and west respectively is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If all of them think that's what's going to happen, then that is what they should each choose to do. This is what we would describe as a Nash equilibrium. Given what the other person is doing, each of these switch operators cannot fare better by switching what they are choosing to do. But that's not the only self-fulfilling prophecy here. Imagine instead that the top switch operator chose to send the trolley to the south. Well, that would eliminate those two guys there. And as a consequence, the decision for the other switch operator is to send his trolley to the west and hit six more, or send his trolley to the north and hit three more. Well, three is fewer than six, so he should send his trolley to the north. If we look at the outcome that results, we have another self-fulfilling prophecy. If the bottom switch operator is going north, that reinforces the top switch operator's decision to go south and have fewer people be hit than going to the east and having that line of six be in the way. But going south reinforces the other's decision to go north, which reinforces the first decision to go south, which reinforces the decision to go north, and so forth. No one can do better by switching their strategy, given what the other is doing, and thus this is a second Nash equilibrium. What's interesting about the presence of multiple equilibria here is that the welfare of the individuals is different. We've established that sending the trolleys east and west, and then sending the trolleys north and south, 
are both equilibria. However, the east-west outcome is worse for both parties than the north-south outcome. Nevertheless, I can't tell you if you were in this situation to not choose east or west depending upon which switch operator you were. Yeah, that outcome is worse for both of us than the north-south outcome. But if we're all anticipating that the other person is going to be following the east-west outcome, then for the reasons that we described before, that actually incentivizes you to want to follow through on that one as well. What this situation is really showing us is the value of communication. If we had the ability to pick up a phone and call one another before the trolleys actually had to go through the switch stations, then we could resolve this pretty easily. We could get on the same page that we're planning on playing the North-South self-fulfilling prophecy. And when we get off of the phone and have to make a decision about where to send the trolleys, if we're both anticipating following through on that, then we should do it. Did you figure this one out? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.